old, he was not the partner. You train him up. I came up in oldness. I came in the church. There, my mom right there. I came up in the church. I, I, that's all I, that I'm just telling you. I, you know, I came up in church. Amen? Amen. So I may have strayed away from it, but guess what? I had to come back to it because of the way I was trained, the way I came up. Me and my mom, I used to go to church with her, just me and her. Me and her going to church. She ain't had to beg me, I wanted to go. That's it. So what I'm trying to tell you, people now, they don't tell, tell their children about going to church. Amen? When Brett, when, uh, uh, me and Prophet always brought the children up to church. We always. When John got in that trouble, I told him, be to church on, on Friday night. He laid on the floor. He would come to church. That night, he didn't come to church. Guess what? He got in trouble. So, and that's why we train the children up. We, and and they, they may not they, see what it is. Johnson called us and said he's going to start praying every night before he go to bed. He said, that's the way y'all brought us up. He said, he said Big, that's the way y'all brought us up. He said, he said, I told this boy I'm standing here right here by him. And said, now before we go to bed, we're going to pray. See, the, 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 what it's saying he said, train him up in the way that is that, that what's happening, that when he get old, he'll be reminded the way he was brought up. And that's what he was saying. He said, didn't y'all teach us to pray? See, so he when he's at his old age, he will be reminded. And that means it will not depart from him. He will be reminded of the way that we brought him up. We took them to Georgia, to the church. We always took them to church. They always made sure they went to church. It's good if you can go. You need to take your children too. If it's good enough for you, I don't want to leave them home. And Sue Valley Bishop always said, don't leave your children home. If you come in, you bring them too. Amen? Thank the Lord. Amen. Ephesians 5 and 21. Submit yourself one, one to another in, in fear of God. Submitting yourself one to one to another in fear of God. See, when I submit to to my wife, I submit to God. I'm submitting. I'm submitting in the fear and, and, and reverential fear of me and reverential fear of God. See, God wants us to be have a submissive spirit. He wants us to be submitted to one another. Submitting me, I'm not going to go out there and do nothing wrong that's going to jeopardize our marriage vows. I'm not going to play a, 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 a girlfriend and want to uh, have an extra married affair. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because you know I know God is looking at me and that's sin. That's adultery. So what I'm saying is when you, when you get married, your mind got to be so focused, this is the one. I don't want nobody else. I don't care if somebody come, women will flirt you like me in the flirt. You got to understand that what you're doing for the family, you're building the children looking at you, that what kind of dad did, what kind of person is, he don't like mama. You got to understand this is, let's talk about family and courage. When you know that, that your children is watching you, say, so what's going on? You wreck your family. One person, the, either the wife or the, or, 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 or the, or the husband, can, can run around and mess up the family. So don't let the devil cause you to mess up your family. Amen? Thank the Lord. Why submit yourself unto your husband? Amen? Why submit yourself to your own husband? I want to say, I ain't going to go back. You see, I came back to emphasize. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto God. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior of the body. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's good. This is what's been going on. The wife don't want to submit to her husband as unto God. Amen? So, therefore, it's going to be a vision. There. It's going to be a blockage there. You got married, but the wife don't want to submit to the husband. If you're not submitting, don't get married. Amen? It's not going to work. Because you got to have the Holy Ghost, first of all, for you to have a, a submissive spirit. See, this is what has been happening. One person gets saved. One person saved. Either the wife saved, the husband saved, and one don't want to submit. So the wife, the wife said, I can train him. I can make him the way God wants. You can't do that. And maybe the husband said, I can make her uh, uh, like the God wants. You can't do that. Only one that can do that is God. 
So if you're trying to trying to make somebody the way you want to make, you won't you won't do it. You won't do it. Best don't go into that no marriage. But I can have him. I have heard. I can train him. I heard women say I can train him. I heard God guys say I can I can help her to do this. No, you can't. Only person who do that is God. Amen. Let's talk about family and courage. Amen. Thank the Lord. Let's talk about it. See. God set it up in the Word. It's set up in the Bible that, that a woman should obey her own husband, not nobody else's husband. Not nobody else's husband. Submit to your own husband. Not 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 no your, your girlfriend husband. Not none of them. You submit to your own husband. See, sometimes women get get it messed up. They don't they this they don't want to submit to their own husband and then another man have them ask them to do something. I do that. But what about home? Amen? And Jesus, he asked you to cook him pancake breakfast. You say, uh-uh, I don't feel like it. Amen? Somebody's come along and say, could you make me a pie? So another man comes and says, can you make me a pie? Yeah, I'll make it. When you want it. That's it. See, what I'm saying here is don't double stand it. You got to, see, the wife got to have a submissive spirit. Man, when you don't even feel like you'll get up 3 o'clock in the morning, if you want pork chop, <laughs> if you want a bacon sandwich, <laughs> you want a grilled cheese, pork in the morning. All right. You got to get up and say, well, I'm, that's my husband. I got to do it. See, that's what I'm talking That's the flavor. That's what you're looking for. You know, <laughs> amen. Amen. I know. I ain't, I ain't trying to pick on nobody tonight. I'm just giving a word. Amen. I, ain't gonna, I don't eat pork chop. So I just throw it in there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going on, y'all. I got to get out of here. Cause I get, you know, I get the gig on something. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Let me hold it. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Ephesians 6 and 1. <clears throat> Amen. Trying to, I got to go to y'all. <laughs> Get that funny bone. Woo, thank you, Lord. Children, Ephesians 6 and 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor their father and their mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee. And thou mayest live long on the earth. And thy father provoke not your children to wrath. Now, I said a whole lot in that, in that I was trying to just get the right on down to the other part. I'm really trying to put it in and 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 fast gear here. I'm trying to Amen. Children obey your parents. Well, that's one of the one of the things first it's very important that you obey your parents and, and the Lord. But this is right. Honor thy father and mother, that is the first commandment which promise that thy, that they be may be well with you, that you be blessed. I said like this, that honor your father and mother that it be well. You want favor of God, you want to be blessed, that it may be well with thee and and thy may it live long upon this earth. There it is again. And then he went on to say, Father, provoke not your children to wrath. Don't provoke, don't, don't literally try to make your children mad or, or, or get bitter with you. Try to live peacefully with your children because you're getting old now. You're getting old, you're going to need them children. That you're gonna need them to do some things, and and and, and I always say your children and the family is very important. Family is very important because see when you get up, hey, you want your children to step in. You don't want them to, you train them. You want them to step in and be adults. So what you're doing now, you don't want to get them mad and bitter with you. You want to have peace with your family. You want to have a lot of love there. I got to go, y'all. Amen. I'm trying to. Amen. Second Timothy. Amen. This, this, let's talk about family and courage. Let's go with courage a little bit. For the, Second Timothy 1 and 7. For God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound man. God never given us a spirit of fear. Amen. He have not given us a spirit of fear. It did not come from God. It came from the devil because he tried to, uh, what he tried to do is torment you. He tried to bring about fear. He tried to bring about a snare, something that you may have done in your past and somebody don't want to forgive you of it. Try to hold over your head, try to bring it up so the devil kind of remind you of something you've done. When you got saved, that was stowed in the sea of forgetfulness. You was got you got you got a clean slate. Now when you got saved, see God forgave you all those sins. So don't let nobody take you back in the yesteryear. Don't let the devil take you back into something you used to do. You God forgave you of all them wrongs and things. Amen. He gave you he gave you power and love of a sound mind. You got a sound mind now. Amen. Amen. He gave you power, he gave you love and of a sound mind. That did not come from God, did not give you the spirit of fear. Amen. Thank you. It's not of God. Amen. Thank the Lord. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 41 and 10. I'm getting out of here, y'all. <clears throat> Fear thy not. 
for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. 